In this lesson, Paige Polite uses the creative movement strategy and the choreography strategy to help her fifth grade students deepen their understanding of the phases of the water cycle. Today we're going to continue our discussion of the water cycle. And as we've learned, there are four main parts of the water cycle. And they're up here on the board. Collection, evaporation, condensation, and precipitation. After a brief review of the stages of the water cycle, students are divided into four small groups, each representing a different part. Using the creative movement strategy, groups explore movement possibilities. After selecting movements to use, students use the choreography strategy to structure their interpretation of a phase of the water cycle. Evaporation is starting at the very lowest level, which tends to be what happens. The collection is at the low level, at ground level. After exploring, planning, and practicing, students perform their choreographies for the class. Action. This artistic movement experience and all of the decisions and choices students made helps them remember what they have learned about the water cycle.